Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I am gonna do a $2,000 makeup haul. Now, I know that's a lot of money. <laughs> And please remember that this was not a uh, one shot. I have been collecting this for the past few months because your girl, you know, this is her hobby. And whether she likes it or not, it's also an addiction. <laughs> so I just want to show you what I have been collecting over the past few months. Some of the things that I want to try that I'm ready to show you guys. And also some new launches that have come out and that I am ready to share with you and hopefully try out in the near future. All right, if you want to see what $2,000 worth of makeup looks like, then keep on watching. <laughs> All right, so I feel like the very first thing we should just go right into is Sephora. Sephora, I feel like maybe is not like the least amount of stuff I've gotten, but it's it's up there. <laughs> and we're gonna go really fast, guys. I'm not gonna tell you any of the prices or anything because that would just take too long. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you what I got and maybe what shade it in or whatever. So hopefully this video won't be so long. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So the very first thing that I got from Sephora is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealers. I got two of them in the shade Nude and Light Beige depending on, you know, what my skin tone is at the time. Next I got this Violet Voss Eyeshadow Palette. It's called the Best Life. Next I got a uh, Laura Mercier Translucent glow setting powder this is like their original but except it's the uh, sort of uh, luminous one next I got the uh, Marc Jacobs recover perfecting coconut setting mist next I got a cover effects um, little set it comes with the I can't even read it comes with the water cloud primer perfect setting powder and the high performance setting mist in my next Sephora bag, I got a NARS bronzer. This is the, what shade is this one? This one is in the shade Seaside. And then I also got a Becca Mineral Blush. This is in the shade 19, 19 Gale. Next, I got a Tarte Amazon Clay Waterproof Bronzer. This is in the Matte Waterproof Hotel Hyrises. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. You guys know English is not my forte <laughs> and then i got a amazon clay 12 hour blush in the shade party this that is like my top favorite um blush in like the world then i got a bunch of lashes i got two house of lashes and sephora collaboration one in the style everlasting and then another one in the style natalia then i got Ooh, where is it? Here we go. I got two style Mykonos lashes from the Lily Lashes and Sephora collection. There's that one. And then there's that one. Don't ask me why they're in two different boxes. They just are. <laughs> and then I got a style Miami in the uh, Lily Lashes as well. I have not tried the Miami one, so I'm excited to do that one. Next in my third little bag from Sephora. This one is all my little stuff, so we're gonna go a little more faster in this one. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer by the Fenty Beauty line. I got it in the shade 230. Then I also have the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade G Light 1. Then I got the Volume On Mascara by the Sephora brand in the shade, what shade is it? Uh, Violet On. That doesn't really make sense because it's pink, but oh well. <laughs> then I got the Dior um, Iconic Over Curl Mascara. This is in the style 090. Then I got the Benefit Boing <laughs> Concealer in the number 2. Then I got three of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitters. I got them in the, where are the names? Um, Mystic Teal and Party which is the middle one and the last one is Royal. Then by Makeup Forever I got this cute little artist color shadow. This is in the style D236. A beautiful little shadow there. Whew. And then 
Also from the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, I got the Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. Then I got the uh, Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. Then I got two of the Sephora blushes, one in the style Charm and then the other one in, oh my gosh. Then lastly from Sephora, I got five of the Stila Glitter and Glows. I don't know if you can see all those. I have it in Lilac Legend, Mystic, Smoky Storm, Smoldering Satin, and Fuchsia Fiction. Next, we're going to move on to Target. This one, I just love going to Target because they have a lot of good drugstore stuff and they only have drugstore stuff. And they, I don't know, they just have some good launches every now and then. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my Ulta, but sometimes you just need to go to that Target and Walmart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that I got from Target is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Then I got a Perfect Crease Duo Shadow from Real Techniques. And then also from Real Techniques, I got the new Microfiber Technology Maximum Powder Pickup Miracle Powder Sponge. It is a very long name, but that is what that is. And then I got two lashes, one in the style Hashtag and the other one in the style No Filter by a brand called Zoe Sweet. Never heard of it, but the lashes looked really cute, so I picked those up. Then I got a random blending sponge from just the Target brand in general. I want to try that out, see if it actually works. And then I got the new number 7 Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Concealer in the shade Light. And then I picked up the new Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen by Maybelline and I got it in two shades. I got it in 220 natural beige and also in 120 classic ivory for when I start getting more pale again. <laughs> then I also got the new Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. One in the shade 15 and one in the shade 18. Then I got a Miss Spa Exfoliate Facial Sheet Mask. Then from CoverGirl, I got the Clean Invisible Concealer for Normal Skin in the shade 115. And then from e.l.f., I got the Blush Palette in the style Dark because I love my deep colored blushes. <laughs> then from Olay, I got the Olay Mist Ultimate Hydration Essence Calming. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that's basically what it is. And then I got two blushes from Lottie London, one in the shade Justin and another one in the shade Zach. Then from number seven, I got a bronzer in the shade Carmo. And then uh, also from the brand number seven, I got the translucent perfect light loose powder. Aww. Moving right along is Walmart. First thing from Walmart is these Real Techniques Everyday Essentials brush sets. Next is this Wet n Wild makeup sponge. And then I got these two peel um, labels for my drawers to label like where my makeup is and everything just in case I forget. <laughs> then I got this new NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. Then I got a Wet n Wild face primer in the dewy version. Then by Almay I got a blush called Mauve, Mauve, however you pronounce that. Then I got three of the Sweet Cheeks NYX Matte, what are they called, um, blushes. So these are the new ones. I got the Red Riot, the Bang Bang. And then the Rose and Play. Then from Flower Beauty, I got two Heat Wave Luminous Bronzers. I got one. Oh wait, they're both Heat Wave. Is that their name? No, their their name is Sun Swept. I got two of the Sun Swept, one for me and one to put in a future giveaway. Then from L'Oreal, I got the Bronze Please in the style 01. Oh, did you see that? My bad. <laughs> 
Then from NYX, I got the Ombre Blush in the shade Sweet Spring. Then from Flower Beauty, I got the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. Then from Milani, I got two of the Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I got one in Creamy Vanilla and one in Creamy Nude. Then from Profusion Cosmetics, I got the eyeshadow palette named Mirage. And then from Maybelline, I got the Lasting Fix New Setting Spray and also the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. Next is going to be my Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Since they are brother um, stores, I just put them all together so I wouldn't have to put two different ones. So for the first thing, the first thing I got is this beautiful canvas that has a bunch of rose gold brushes on it that have shimmers on the tips of them. And I love that. That's going to look great in this makeup room. Then, then I got this other canvas that says lipstick and hustle and it has these beautiful little sparkly and gold lipsticks at the bottom that is also going to look really cute in this room. I was going to say my room but I meant this room. <laughs> then here comes the actual makeup. Now this stuff I had to take like a long time to look at, make sure nothing was swatched or used and stuff like that. So I took a lot of time and effort into this one. <laughs> so the first thing is the Becca Volcano Goddess palette. Then I got four of the It Cosmetics by Jamie Karen Innovative Technology Cosmetics brushes. These are two-in-one brushes. I got one for myself for traveling and then I thought it was really cool, really um, nice and innovative for traveling. So I got three to put in a future giveaway. Then I found this Precision Formula Shimmer Strips. It's a custom bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow. I'm going to use it as a bronzer because um, I remember Tati saying this was one of her favorite items. So when I saw it, I definitely went and grabbed it. Then I got the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. This one is really sweet, very, you know, smells nice. And I have never actually used a Too Faced um, Chocolate Palette before, so I'm really excited to try that. Next, I got the Laura Gella Line and Define Dual Ended Eyeliner Trios. Then I got three Ardell lashes in the style 105. These are my absolute favorite style lashes from Ardell. Then I got a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Sunlight Bronzer. Then from Dolce Gabbiana, I got the Light Blue Perfume. I love this perfume, so of course your girl had to grab it. Then I also found this Spun Sugar um, Parfum. I don't know which brand it's actually from, but it smells really good, so I grabbed it. <laughs> then I grabbed four Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipsticks in the shade Central Park Spice, Chocolate Raspberry, Fifth Ave Ruby, and Lexington Ave Coral. Then I got a Laura Geller Baked Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. Then from Buxom, I got two lightweight liquid lipstick in the shade Devious Dolly and White Russian. And then from Too Faced, I got four of their Metallic Sparkle lipsticks. I got them in the shade uh, Trumpula, no, Trampula, my bad. <laughs> TF20 Pixie Stick and Too Too Hot. Then I got a MAC uh, lipstick in the shade Costa Chic. Then I got a Buxom Bold Gel lipstick in the shade Sinful Cinnamon. And then lastly, I got three Marc Jacob lipsticks and in the shade Mayday, Scandal, and Understudy. Whew, that's a lot of makeup. <laughs> Alright guys, we have two more places to go. Let's keep pushing it. <laughs> this place is Ulta. Now this is actually a reusable bag that I have been using. Just a quick little like detour from what I'm talking about. I have been using reusable bags when I go to the mall and when I go grocery shopping and everything just to 
keep from using plastic bags you know although I am just one person people say it might not be a big difference but it makes a difference in my city in my town where I am at so I encourage all of you to do the same start bringing your cloth bags to the mall to the grocery store and reusing those reusable bags is amazing and then also recycle grocery bags if you forget your bags and they have multiple locations like at Target at Walmart at Aldi's and many other places that you can recycle your plastic bags. Okay, little rant over. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right, from Ulta, I got two of the Elf hydrating serums, and then I got a Pure Miracle Mist. This is a hydrating spray. Then from Catrice, I got a Hydrating Prime and Care Spray. From Ulta Beauty, I got a Rosewater Facial Mist. And then from Ulta Beauty again, I got the Watermelon Facial Mist. And then from Master Labs, I got the Intense Moisturizing Face Mask. Then from the Ulta Beauty collection, I got the Clarifying Honey Mask. Again, from the Ulta Beauty collection, I got the Hydrating Coconut Mask. Then from Flower Beauty, I got three of the Pop Fantastic Eye Pigments. I got it in the shade Splash, Bang, and Zing. Then from Patrice, I got the blush in the shade Burgundy. I got the Milani Blush Trio in the shade 02 Floral Fantasy. Then from Ardell, I got three of the, or actually two of the Remy Lashes, one in a style 778, and then another one in the style 781. And then also <clears throat> from Ardell, the 3D Fox Mink Lashes in the style 853. Then from Ofra, I got the Midi Palette and the Nikki Tutorials collab. Then from Catrice, I got two of the Liquid Camouflage Concealers in the shades Light Beige and Porcelain. Then from Wet n Wild, I got two of the Wet n Wild and Pac-Man collaboration. One in the style of Blink Blinky or is it Blinky? Blinky which is the red one, and then another in Inky, which is the blue one. Whew. <laughs> then also from Patrice, I got the Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer in Fresh It Up. Then from LA Girl, I got the Setting Spray Fix and Set Makeup. And then from Essence, I got the Camouflage Matte Concealer in the shade, let me find it in the shade Light Ivory and Light Honey. Then also from Essence, I got two of the I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Bases. One in the style Ag, <laughs> and then the other one in the style Bah. <laughs> and then the last things I got from Ulta Beauty are these Essence lipsticks. I got one in the shade 11 and the in shade 10 as well. Alrighty guys, one more plate. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I almost forgot. <laughs> From LA Girl, I also got the Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation in the shade White for when I want to do my FX looks and stuff. Alright, now we are on to the very last bag. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the very last place is Kohl's. From Kohl's, I got the Classic 10 Color Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. The BH Color Festival 20 Color Shadow Palette. A Lorac Tannenizer Buildable Bronzing Powder in the shade Beach Betty. Two of the Lorac Light Source Mega Beam Highlighters, one in the shade Gilded Lily. And then the other one in the shade Celestial. And then also from 
Kohl's, I got two pure 4-in-1 stick foundations. The cream to velvet matte foundation. I got one in the shade medium and the shade in blush medium. And then lastly from Kohl's, I got the BH Take Me Back to Brazil brush set collection. Whew. Okay guys, that is everything. I better hurry. My camera is about to die. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this haul, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. And let's see, leave a comment down below on what products you already have from what I've shown and what products you want to see me review from what I've shown. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notifications. Make sure to give this video a like and follow all my social media. The links will be down below as usual. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Friday.